Hello everybody. Hello. Hello. Okay, uh, this video is about my tattoos and stuff because I get a lot of questions asking me about my tattoos and a lot of comments saying like, oh your tattoos are awesome and stuff like that. Which, uh, thank you very much. It's appreciated that you guys like my tattoos and stuff because uh, they're all my own designs. I design them all and, you know, stuff like that. And I've <coughs> got this one tattoo artist who does all my tattoos and he's really good. So, um, yeah, it's good that you guys like them, so yeah, cool. Uh, okay, I'll go. I'll go in order of how I got them. So my first one is my pentagram. If you can see it there. Yeah, I got that one. Um, got that one for my 18th birthday. Uh, it's just a pentagram. Doesn't mean that I'm like a devil worshiper or any of that crap. I just like. I like the symbolism. I like the. Um, I like the look of the symbol. And it's inspired by um, the, the if, if you know Opeth, the band, so the O for Opeth with all the you know like flowers and stuff coming off it. It's all inspired by that. Um, but yeah, you know, made it my own and put it in the pentagram. It looked really cool, so I got it basically. Okay, um, second one was my chest piece. So this was my second one. It's the um, once again my own design, obviously. It's just sort of like a tribal design with these spirals and stuff. And then these eyes of Ra in the middle. And this bit here, it wasn't so that my necklace will fit in it, this one here. Because it does it does fit right there. And it works. But it's not because of that. I literally, I felt like it needed that because of how there's the dip in the bone. So I thought, okay, I'll dip that bit as well then. And uh, when I designed it, I designed it to be coloured in black. But they decided to leave it. It's just an outline because we, me and the artist both thought it looked really cool. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but the eyes of Ra are kind of like turquoise. It's like turquoise is one of my favourite colours, like hence the, the rings. So yeah. <laughs> and I'm um, like part Native American, so turquoise, is, you know, it's all, it's all back there in my in my history. Um, but yeah, we decided to leave it as an outline, apart from the eyes, and just colour them in. And... Um, Basically, I just got it for like because the eyes of Ra are to symbolise sort of protection and like protection during the day, protection during the night is uh, left and right. So the sun and the moon, sort of in this life and the afterlife, it's all all to do with protection basically. <clears throat> um, and I designed it to be flat, straight across, but the way that your shoulder, that your collarbones go, because they curve back, which means that like it curves back when you move. So he designed it. He redrew it basically, so it went upwards, but it's exactly the same as mine, just curved. Um, third one is my clock, on my back, which is the one that I get a lot of, a lot of comments about. So I've got the big clock. Yeah, basically, that's nothing special really. Basically, it's just. Um, I quite like sort of old pocket watches and stuff, so I thought I'd go get a big old pocket watch. And um, the Roman numerals on it aren't like a time specific. It's it's um, the fifth of the twelfth ninety one, which is the date I was born. And the time isn't anything at all. It's just you know it's just where it fit aesthetically, basically. So um, yeah, I did my design was like an outline design, so just just like the out the line work basically. And I said to him, I said to the artist like this is why I mean he's a really good artist. Is I said to him I want it to look like a realistic pocket watch, with all like the shading. And he was like, oh that's cool. Yeah, we could put like you know cracks in the back and we can put a sheen across the glass. And I was like, yeah man, just do whatever you want because it's going to look awesome basically. And yeah, it came out really really good. That was a five and a half hour session. That was pretty gnarly, but it was cool. Um, and then my fourth one was my forearm, which I don't know if you know is um, nothing you'll ever understand because it's um, my own language basically. I made up my own language. Of a, um, it's a, kind of like a formula. Like you've got like letters of the alphabet and their position in the word up to 10, or up to nine actually I think it is. Yeah, so like one to nine. <clears throat> and then it starts again from one to nine. Um, so yeah, A, B, C, D, all to Z, one to nine. And you've got a different symbol for every, every, part of it basically so 
<clears throat> kind of like a big table or grid sort of thing. And it, it's just, it's directly related to the letters in the words. So like you've got A, so if you say the words like T, like the, so T-H-E, it'll be like T1, H2, E3. That's how it works. But um, I'm the only one that knows what that, what that actually means. So it's like a personal thing to me that no one else is allowed to know. It's basically just just the way I should live and how to let people treat me and how to me to treat other people. You know, like not to be walked all over, but not to be too harsh on people sort of thing. <clears throat> That's basically what it means to me. Um, and then my fifth one is my little owl on my finger. And that one is because I'm Sagittarius in the Zodiac. And I'm also Native American. And Native Americans, they don't believe in, you know, like a a god sort of thing they believe in sort of nature and spirits and things so their zodiacs are related to animals and a sagittarius is an owl so i've got a little owl on my finger for sagittarius um that's all i've got so far i've got many more planned i've got you know like entire sleeves planned i've got more of these planned that i want to get you know round um yeah i've got loads planned basically other things i'll show you quickly are the stretches because you know tattoos and piercings are so like, related. So I've got 12 millimeter and six millimeter stretches in my ears, and this side got another 12 there as well. I did have a scaffolding, had to take it out because scaffoldings and dreads don't go well together. It, they just tangle and then it just doesn't heal and it just feels fucking horrible. So yeah, that's it basically. That's um, my tattoos and my piercings. Cheers guys, I'll um, give you another update when I get some more. Bye.